It's GFN Thursday, so we're going to be breaking down the latest coming to GeForce Now this week, but before we do that, I want to talk about the 4080 server rollout. The new SuperPod upgrades appear to be nearly finished at the London Data Center. This will expand the number of regions where Ultimate members can now take advantage of these RTX 4080 SuperPods. Keep an eye over on Twitter to see when these upgrades are complete, or stick around the channel as I will update you all as soon as they're done. And while that's all the official word we got about these upgrade rollouts from Nvidia today, I did notice that two servers from the US Midwest region have been taken offline. Now whether this is for upgrade purposes or just server maintenance is up in the air, but I'm really hoping it is an upgrade as these are the servers I personally connect to. Fingers currently crossed and I'll be sure to update you all with more info as soon as it drops. Moving past that, we got two game updates for Marvel's Midnight Suns as well as Hitman World of Assassination. Titles will receive updates to support DLSS 3, which the new 4080 Super Pods can take advantage of. This will actually be a pretty major addition because the LSS 3 certainly helps with improving frame rates. And it's a killer feature for anyone who really wants to enjoy that 4K 120fps experience. But now let's get to the games arriving this week. Up first we have a new release from Ubisoft called Oddballers which you can pick up on the Ubisoft Connect store. It's described as a frantic local and online party game for up to 6 players where you have to use skill and brutally unfair tactics to win over your friends. The trailer alone makes it look pretty out there for a dodgeball game, there seems to be a lot going on and a variety of game modes to actually get you started. The developers are promising ongoing seasonal updates, exclusive events, as well as new environments, game modes, and secrets. They want to emphasize that the game features simple controls, fast gameplay, small downloads, and a friendly business model to make you focus on the good stuff and that's just beating your friends. Up next we have Cygnus Enterprises which is an early access title that you can pick up over on Steam. In this you'll take charge of a derelict outpost on a faraway planet where you have to rebuild your base and manage your employees to help it thrive. You'll be battling fierce creatures and gathering resources in a lush alien environment. The game itself is actually sitting on mostly positive reviews on Steam which is always good to see, and based on user reviews they seem to be describing it as a sort of Diablo-like with base building elements. It's a very unique blend of genres and one that I'll be keeping a close eye on because it definitely seems up my alley. The next title being added this week is Rain World which you can pick up over on Steam. Now this is a game that came out a few years ago but honestly speaking if you haven't played it you definitely should it's well worth your time. In it you play as a nomadic slug cat both predator and prey in a broken ecosystem. You'll have to grab your spear and brave the industrial waste hunting enough food to survive but being wary of other bigger creatures that have the same plan. Like I said earlier this game is well worth checking out if you haven't already. It happens to be one of those titles that critics didn't really enjoy but it seems like the general gaming population did. It's got a very positive review score over on Steam with well over 8000 reviews. The game's visuals and sound design really just make a great atmosphere. Now the last title we're going to be talking about this week and going in depth with is called The Eternal Cylinder. In this game you control a herd of charming creatures and explore an unforgettable alien world filled with exotic life forms and surreal environments. You'll discover dozens of mutations to overcome puzzles, explore new biomes and survive on the dangerous planet. The game looks extremely unique based on what I've seen. Definitely gives me some spore vibes for any of those who remember what that is, but the idea of running away from this massive cylinder object that just seems to destroy everything in its path is kinda cool. It's also currently sitting at very positive over on Steam with 260 reviews. Now there are two additional titles being added from Ubisoft, but I decided not to cover them in depth because they're just being added to the Steam storefront, and that's Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint and Watch Dogs Legion. Both titles have been available on Ubisoft Connect before, but this gives you another option on where to purchase and play them through GFN. Props to Ubisoft for finally bringing some of their titles over, and I hope to see this trend continue. And with that, we've wrapped up all the news for this GFN Thursday. If you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out and if you're wanting more content like this be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thank you for watching, I hope you have a great day, this has been The Virtual Cloud giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.